Hey guys, Antoinique Minassian here, a realtor with Signature Real Estate Group, and today we're back in Henderson, Cadence Master Plan Community, looking at Century Community Homes. This community is called Medina Number no. 2, and they have three different floor plans, and two of them for us to preview. And today's lucky one is gonna be the largest one they have, the most popular one, which is residence 2119, $432,990 is the starting price. 2,119 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half bath, den, loft, with two car garage. Here's a quick preview of the neighborhood. They got a bunch of lots here available. This community just opened up. And in the back, they have some spec homes. So if you don't wanna wait forever for your home to be built, since it takes about five months from dirt to be built, you can get those and those are gonna be ready in about a few weeks. Our two-car garage, pavers on the floor, beautiful stack stone, 108 degree, <laughs> hot, hot sun. And uh, this is it, residence 2119. I do love the little keypads. So if you got kids or somebody, or you lose your keys, you can come in and get out with no problem. Welcome to Cadence Henderson, guys. If this is your first time on this channel, give it a quick like and subscribe. All right, let's run to the backyard since I'm already super hot. As much as I keep the heat going and take a look at this beautiful backyard. So we do have an HOA in this community. It's a $50 only cadence master plan community which covers all the amenities that cadence has to offer from uh, from parks to a pool so if you got kids they got a 50 acre park here a lot of walking trails a lot of things to do outdoor just don't go outside when it's like 100 and uh, like today it's too hot <laughs> put a hat on or something desert landscaping pavers synthetic grass no fire pit in here at least I don't see any yeah, this is not a fiber, just a little, okay. As far as the backyard here, we have a half or full uh, cover patio. So if you want to get this, it's optional for the house. Do highly recommend it. I would even extend it later on after you buy the house. That's what I would do. It just makes the backyard a little bit more usable. Nothing on the side, just a little water bib to water your plants. And right here we have uh, three recessed lights, couple hockey pucks to add a ceiling fan. Ooh, let's go inside. Like feels like a, a blow dryer outside. You ever had that experience when you turn on the blow dryer, you get like, poof, you know, in your face. That's what it feels like when you're outside here. So we have nine foot ceilings here, beautiful slider door and Big different between this model and the one next door. This one feels way more open concept, way more open. It doesn't feel like it's claustrophobic. All the chairs are next to each other. I don't know, it just feels a little bit more open. And if you look at the pricing, the next model, which is the 1943, and uh, this one, the 2119, it's only $10,000 more. So, I mean, if you're buying a house, pay the 10 grand more and, you know, pull the trigger on the bigger one. And if you don't want to wait about five months or so for the house to be built, right over here, we have uh, all these homes, September delivery. They vary from a 483,000 all the way up to 540, depending on which model you want to get. So this model right here, the 2119, they have one at 520, they have it at 540. And uh, even at 499, 863 and those are out the door four bedroom or three bedroom depending on which one you end up getting if you guys need a copy of this let me know and if you use the in-house lender with Century communities they are offering three percent off the base price towards your closing costs and three percent uh, off the loan for closing costs so basically six percent give or take as far as incentives go. If you guys wanna know more about it, give me a call and I'll go ahead and connect you with the lender and you guys can ask all the hard questions the lender can answer for you. All right, 
This one is uh, tankless hot water, a lot of storage here. We also have our MyQ lift master basically if you're too lazy like me you know download the app my Q, you can control your garage door with your phone so you can open and close remotely even if you're far far away like very far away as long as you have internet connection so this is our pantry for the kitchen and this is our beautiful kitchen i love this kitchen the only thing i would say it's missing here is the handles i would just get myself to lowe's or home depot and get yourself some handles whatever color you like probably some chrome handles or stainless steel to match your appliances whirlpool appliances and uh, let's see here is this a wi-fi probably everything has wi-fi nowadays maybe it'll tell you when your turkey is done right we do have some lights underneath the kitchen And on this side, we have our USB, we have our CAT6 connection. Your fridge will go right over here. Beautiful 42 inch upper cabinets with three inch crown. And this is a one nice island. Very, very large. Even the sink here, this thing is huge. You can even, if you have a little baby, plug it up. <laughs> it can give you a little baby a bath in here. Our reverse osmosis not hooked up and this thing is hooked up let's look underneath oh so they do have the reverse osmosis here why is it not on maybe it's not turned on or oh it's empty that's why this is our dishwasher and we have tile flooring ceramic tile on the floor these things are beautiful and they look dirty, but it's just the way it is. It's just a stained a little bit. So this is not dirty, this is how they come, especially right over here. It looks like somebody just rubbed some black dirt on it or something like that. We also have a, let me see, one, two, three, four, five. So we have a six pack of lights in the kitchen area. We also have a three pack of wiring for pendant lighting, a single mono speaker, I wish there was like two of them, but there's only one up here. Here is our dining area versus the other model, the dining area and the kitchen were like way too close to each other. This one is, I think it's better. At least, you know, that's how I feel about it. Definitely upgraded the fireplace. You really don't need a fireplace in Vegas. I mean, it's so hot here half the year, but I would still get one. They look beautiful, even if you use it, in, you know, once in a while during Christmas or something, or just show off, you know. <laughs> so this is the, the view. So if you're sitting here, oof, that's kind of low. So if you're sitting here, this is the view. You're watching uh, a really good movie, hopefully. Something like, uh, I don't know, Rambo, maybe the old Rambo from the back in the 80s. Or Rocky, huh? One of those two, those are good movies. So this is our front door right here. Next to the front door we have, oh, okay. This is a little closet, it's deep. Coat closet, I mean, this, is, this thing's pretty deep. Let me go inside. Yeah, I mean, oh yeah, this is a pretty big closet for being downstairs. So down here, this could be our den or one more bedroom. So this is modeled uh, three bedrooms, but it can be all the way up to five bedrooms. So instead of having a den, you'll have, I mean, instead of having a, yeah, this den, you'll have a bedroom instead. It does have a whole bunch of lights and a pre-wiring. And then if you get this as a bedroom, you'll have a, a shower here. So this will be a little bit different setup than the way it is right now. So right now it's just set up as a, a powder room with some blue wallpaper with our pedestal sink. Let's take a look here one more time. So that was a wallpaper. This is just blue paint. And this is the view 
from the window down here. Not a bad room at all. I mean, I like the way they have it set up right now. Just an office. I guess if you don't need the rooms, just set it up as an office. Upgraded railing. And let's head up to our second floor. And welcome to level two. Welcome to your loft. It's kind of weird, no, no couch here or something, but they got the TV. <laughs> We got a, another speaker up here. So if you need an extra room, this can be converted into a bedroom as well. So this will be your fourth bedroom. The den downstairs can be your fifth bedroom. So if you don't need the rooms, just leave it as a loft. It's just, you know, it's up to you. So we are right over here. It says loft here. So it's an optional fourth bedroom. And the same thing goes with the primary suite. Let's actually walk to the primary suite so I can show you guys what I mean. So, welcome to the primary suite. Couple of windows on the side. I like having all the lights in this room. I mean, every single room has a four pack of lights where they got the pre-wiring, especially this master bedroom. They got three different windows here. Brings a lot of sunlight in, plus the couple of lamps. And this is a king size, I believe. Yeah, definitely it's a king size bed. All right, let's go take a look at this bathroom. So if you're not a fan of a shower like they have here, you can configure this a little bit differently. Let's actually go inside the shower and take a quick look. Yeah, this thing is fully upgraded, tiled all the way up with a little skinny linear window. Okay, let's get up. So we have, uh, oh, look at that beautiful tile work. So we have a couple of things on each side. We have a little makeup area. But if we look at this floor map here, so you can get rid of the shower and you can have a shower with a bathtub and this whole area, the toilet will go away. So in other words, let me put this away. If you guys need a copy of this, let me know. I'll be more than happy to send you over send it to you so if you want a shower I mean if you want a bathtub instead you'll get rid of this linen closet right here and oops <laughs> and uh, your bathtub will start from the door all the way down and you'll have a shower and then your toilet here your powder room will go across it changes a little bit so so depends on, depending on how you want to configure your house those are the options that you can make and change and you know, if it's up to me, I wouldn't mind having a shower and a bathtub, but you know, it's all up to you. It'd be nice to have a bathtub, you know, once in a while. Walk-in closet and a primary bedroom. Couple of undermount sink with Moen hardware. And we have three different windows, or I should say three <laughs> separate mirrors here with a single medicine cabinet. And this is your makeup area. So if you're sitting down here on this, ouch, that was kind of loud. So if you're sitting here, you're doing your makeup, whatever it is you're doing, this will be your view. You just need a, maybe a mirror with the light on it, huh? bit brighter so you can see your face but yeah those are the options that you could do get rid of the linen closet put a shower put a bathtub all the fun stuff that you could do when you're building your house from dirt now if you want to buy a house that's already been built these are September delivery so they have few models for us to pick and the prices vary from 483 all the way up to five hundred and forty thousand dollars which is right over here that's the 2119 plan so depending on how big the backyard is and what kind of upgrades they've done they have three bedrooms and four bedrooms you know this is one of the great options if you don't want to wait forever for your house to be built now if you are picky 
and you want to build from dirt meaning that you know get the land pick your lot pick every single upgrade there is you can uh, pick and choose however you want to you know your house to be that's another option for you to do so if you want the the shower and the bedrooms downstairs and you want this converted into a bedroom you can do all that stuff too you just have to wait about four to five months for the house to be built so the primary bedroom is on this side as soon as you come up to the second floor and the rest of the bedrooms will be right over here so we have two more to go we have a bedroom right there and we have one more right over here plus the laundry room is upstairs so you don't have to carry you know all of your dirty laundry up and down this is our upstairs bathroom with a bathtub And we also have access to the attic in here. So if you want to crawl up there, that's how you get up there. Our toilet right here, couple of sinks, and uh, I wish it had more lights in here. I feel like the four pack is a little bit too low for me. I would rather have maybe three and three on each side. So maybe add two more, but this has already been done. You can't really do much about it. Beautiful marble and not a big fan of these Moen hardware, tell you the truth. I prefer to have the ones that you can, you know, slide back and forward. But these are, you know, fixed and can't be moved. That's just me, you know, being a little bit picky. And welcome to the Raiders room. So this will be our second bedroom. We have one more to go. And if we look out the window real quick. So the spec homes, the one I was showing you, these homes right here. They're right across. I'm dropping all the, every single paperwork on the floor. <laughs> They're right over there on that street. They are being built as we speak. They're almost finished. You know, in September, a few weeks down the road, they'll be ready to go. I guess I dropped everything on the floor. And this room does have a nice walk-in closet. A linen closet, our smart panel box, front loading washer and dryer with cabinets. A little bit hard to get to the cabinets in here. Let me see how hard is it. Yeah, with the front loading washer and dryer, a little hard to reach, but just get a step stool and make it happen. And this will be our last bedroom. Looks like it's a ballerina room. Pretty cool room. I like this model. I think this one is better, yeah, than the one next to it because it's a little larger. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about this model and if you guys have any questions regarding this property or any property you've seen on my channel, feel free to give me a call at any time. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Take care.